Many residents of the Realty Building are still trying to figure out what comes next. Today, they were given some help from the American Red Cross. With what happened, let's go live downtown to First News anchor Stan Boney. Well, it is all quiet tonight just outside of the Realty Building here in downtown Youngstown. Uh, when I arrived down here about an hour ago, there were a couple of people, one being an NTSB official, standing outside the building, but it has since cleared off. Uh, there is security around the building, but that's about all that you'll see down here at the moment. Now, it was announced today that coming up tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., uh, the people who lived in the Realty Building were allowed to come back in one by one in 30-minute increments, accompanied by a firefighter to retrieve some personal belongings. Apparently, the structural integrity of the building is good enough that it will allow people to walk through at least briefly. Now, also taking place this afternoon outside of the Cavelli Center, some of the people who occupied the Realty Building were meeting with representatives of the American Red Cross. They were filling out applications which could eventually help them with housing and essentials. Tracy Winbush, who lived in the building with her mother, said together they're getting vouchers worth $630. She plans to go inside tomorrow, retrieve a few items, nothing big. She said just a bag full. Currently, she's staying in a furnished room at the Gallagher building, which is an Airbnb here downtown. Winbush said that she had the same clothes on today that she had on on Tuesday. I asked how she was getting along. God's been good to me. This is not a memorial. I'm displaced. I, I'll be all right. I got tomorrow. The community, have they been supportive? Youngstown's amazing. The people here um, working together, making sure they get it done. Tracy Winbush's 94-year-old mother was in the building when the explosion occurred. Her mother is still in the hospital. She's okay, though, and her next stop will be rehabilitation. I also talked today with Deanna Rossi, whose family lived on the 12th floor of the Realty Building, and they are still looking for a place that can accommodate her, she, her husband, and their two children. She's also thankful for the person that pulled the fire alarm just before the explosion occurred. Today she called that person a hero, saying that whoever did that saved a lot of lives. Live in downtown Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.